This is a special night at the Mary Martin Art Gallery. Jean-Claude Gauthier is making a rare appearance. This visit by this internationally acclaimed artist is causing a lot of excitement. I'm Elaine Ruska, and for those who are not able to join us tonight, we hope to bring you a little bit of that excitement. It's great to have you here at the Mary Martin Art Gallery. Mary represents you here in Charleston. Could you tell us how this collaboration came about? Well, um, Mary bought some work uh, with her husband uh, at my gallery in Santa Fe some uh, five or six years ago. And uh, I met them consequently a little bit later on. And uh, when the, she decided to open the gallery, she came to see me and she says, uh, would you put some work in my gallery? This, uh, there were such nice people that uh, decided to do so. Well, it's wonderful for those who are visiting tonight to see your linear expressionism. I believe many would like to hear your words and from you the definition of linear expressionism. Well, this, uh, the, the phrase was coined by, not by me, but it was coined by uh, some critic in New York, and that's why they call my show. They said, this is a, the linear expressionist, and this is a, the father of linear expressionists, and it made me much bigger than I thought I would ever be. But the idea was that, uh, they said, the, the idea is uh, linear is because the lines themselves, you can't see in my work, this, everything has lines, and which is very difficult to do, by the way, in two paintings. And uh, expressionist is because the impressionist is what you get as an impression from, from the outside world, from the whatever and you represent it. Expressionist is what comes from inside of you. So linear lines contain with the expression of self as the soul or the expression just puts it on colors and uh, in paintings and forms and so on and so forth. Nothing else compares an art to Jean-Claude when I look at his paintings. Nothing gives me a feeling like his does. I own a few, and I just, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, in heaven. It is, he truly is a genius and he's paradise. Jean-Claude, you come from a very long line of artisans using traditional instruments such as the hammer and chisel to create art. What do you think about the use of mechanical instruments, and how do you feel about today's computer-generated art? Art is a form of expression. Creativity is a natural expression of all individuals. And this is the blessed part of that we have. You have to learn the tools, as I've mentioned before, in order to learn the tools to get to a place where you can express and share, because it is all about sharing. I have plenty of questions that I hope to ask you throughout the evening but there's so many people waiting to meet you and ask you a few questions. Let's just take a few minutes of break for you to meet some of your fans. It sounds as though you're really enjoying the show tonight and Jean-Claude Gauthier. Yes, I am. It's, it's, his work is, is very interesting. I'm really curious about your process. Are you willing to share a little bit? Basically what you become an artisan. I mean, you develop an interest in it, you develop your skill. Then from the artisan, you become the artist, meaning that you can impose you what you want to say with it. And if you're lucky enough in your life, then you become a master because you can abstract everything you've done and a few things, doing enough so you can touch people. I like how there's kind of lots of curves and, and circular movement, but yet it's all kind of contained within you know, these kind of geographical uh, squares and elements. Um, it's really great. Uh, what a compelling story. You went from a true starving artist living on the streets to an internationally acclaimed. Your art is hanging in museums and important art collections around the world. What is your proudest accomplishment? The proudest accomplishment? Finding God. was there all along. There's nothing else. You wake up at four in the morning and you maybe possibly meditate and then start to express some of the spiritual thoughts and, and feelings that you have by starting to carve your paintings. What I do is just I'm looking for something more. See, when you go into the past where I've been going, you don't want to stop. You, say you become voracious in what you need to have. And the paintings becomes just an expression of that. 
Jean-Claude, it's been a wonderful, wonderful evening. We want to thank you for coming here to Charleston. People were certainly touched tonight. We certainly thank you for all the energy and the inspiration. You're very welcome.